Hey everyone. Now I'm sure you recall from some uh, recent videos, I did an upgrade to the stereo in the BYD seal here, but I didn't quite finish it. There's a couple of little things I've got left to do. And one of them is hooking up the high level output from the factory amp into the Alpine unit, because the way I did it before was only temporary. So I'll show you what I mean. For those of you who didn't see, I built a sub box here with a couple of subs there, a couple of amps behind there, and I put an Alpine head unit in here to provide the sound source so I could bypass all the factory sounds. So the deal is, I've got this sound system over here, and that's my sound source for, for most things that feeds my amp. But I've got the factory sound system over there, and the way I've got it set up is that I can use that as an input. Now you see that's Bluetooth there, but I've got this high level input. So over here, I mean that's playing, but it's a bit quieter, so I can turn it right up. So that's coming up from over there. But as you just saw, it's the high level input. What I've got on this Alpine is four inputs. It's got front left, front right, rear left and rear right. But it works differently from the factory system because I've got the tweeters and the woofers down here in the door. So I'll draw a little diagram and show you what's going on and what I've got to do. Okay, so what I've got is the Alpine unit over here and it has front left, front right, rear left and rear right inputs. Now they're the high level inputs. But over on the factory amp, that says factory by the way. On the factory amplifier, it's got lots of outputs, but for the front left, it actually consisted of the front left, uh, let's say call it treble, I suppose, for the high frequencies, and the front left bass. So there were two speakers in the door. And same for the front right. So the front right equals, you know, front right treble from the little tweeters there. That says treble and the front right bass. And it's the same for the rear speakers, but I'm not going to bother with them. But as you can see, these don't match the inputs of the Alpine. So at the moment in the car, I've got the factory front left bass going to the front left of the Alpine and the front left treble going to the right of the Alpine and similar for the right side. So as you can see, that's not right. So at the moment in the car, I've got the front left and rear left speakers playing bass and the front right and treble, it's just a mess. So the reason it's wired like that is because I knew I was going to do this one day, but I didn't want to have to pull the loom apart that I did nicely in the boot. So I won't be touching that, I've just got to mess around under the back seat for this. So what I really want to do is get the bass and the treble from the left and put that into the left speaker. But it gets complicated if you want to match this because they're high level outputs from the amp. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. So instead of these high level inputs here going to the uh, Alpine unit, I'm actually going to use low level inputs and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'll just piss this off. Now you get the idea. Right, so instead of those high level inputs, I'm going to use low level inputs, which are RCA connectors. And the reason why is as follows. So there's going to be a left and a right. Okay, so I want this bass and treble to be mixed and go to the left. And I want this bass and treble to be mixed and go to the right. Now if I do that as high level, I'm going to have a problem because this is the factory amp, so it is an amplifier. So if I just join this up, have that bass that's got an output driven here, and feed that straight back in there, it's going to go back into the amp and be a problem. And same here, so both directions there, it's going to be a problem. Because this is low impedance. This is 4 ohms coming from the amp. Impedance, right? But the RCA ones are high impedance. So what I'm going to do is grab that high level output for the, the bass and the treble here and I'm going to reduce that to high impedance low power. So this will have RCA cables coming out the side here. And then I can join them in and mix them. So that won't be a problem. That won't really feed back into the amp like our high power output would. And that'll give me a low power RCA connector for the left. And of course do the same thing for the right. Boom, boom, boom. Mix them together and they go off to the right. So these will be RCA connectors here going into the Alpine. Okay, so I've got here the cheapest things money can buy from AliExpress. As you saw, I'm just going to feed the left high and low into one of them, get the outputs, join them together and feed them into the low level inputs on the Alpine and same for the right side. So I've got to make some RCA cables first. Okay, now I've just made a couple of cables, as I said, to take the two outputs here and turn it into one there. So that there, that there, plug in there, so high level come in for the low frequency and high frequency, down convert it, mix it by the little uh, adjusters there, little potentiometers there, variable resistor, and they will go into one in the left, one in the right. So that's that. Okay, so under the back seat is where the main unit for that Alpine sits. So I've just got to rip this up. 
and just lifts up like that. And under here is where it is. Okay, so here are the four high level inputs that go to the Alpine unit, but I'll be disconnecting that, going through the high to low converters and going to the RCA connectors, which are in here somewhere. So I'll pull that out and find them. Right, so here's what it currently is. I just have the um, optical fiber one here that I'm using for the sound source to go to the amplifiers and that's an auxiliary input and the RCA's are hidden under there so I'll have to unwrap that and dig them out. Okay it turns out I didn't have to do that because the RCA's on here are for its outputs. The auxiliary input is the one I left out anyway so <laughs> I just had a lapse of memory there so that's what I've got to feed into for the input. So anyway I'll just wrap this back up. What it also means is I have to change these cables that I made. So I had RCA thinking it was going to RCA, but instead it's going to go to a stereo plug. So I'm going to have to put that on these. Alright, so I've just soldered them on there, and I'm going to put the heat shrink down to stop anything from shorting out. Okay, so that was a bit of a detour, but as you can see now, I say that this one's for the right. It goes, those two join together, and then goes up into the right side of that, and the left side there. So now what I'm going to do is get the high level inputs and solder them to this which will be tricky because I've got to do that under the back seat there. Okay, I left myself plenty of cable here, so I've got enough to do that out here. shouldn't be too hard. So I'll solder those four to the inputs of those converters, and it should be close to it. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. A high level from the factory amp coming in here, going into these high to low converters, getting mixed there by RCA plugs, going to this little uh, phono jack here, which will connect into the unit that goes into the Alpine unit. All right, here comes a moment of truth. So obviously the original one works. So now if I go to, not Bluetooth, not high level, but aux. First of all, is there any noise? No, there isn't, so that's good. Now if I start this, oh, she's coming through. Cool, that works. So what I'll do is I'll just tweak the, uh, the levels to get the bass and treble fine on it. Bring that back to USB. Yeah, this is a bit louder. But that's good. So now what I can do is tweak these, change the sound. Which you probably won't hear through there. Anyway, that's changing it. So I'll tweak that to get that right. Okay, so that's in and it's done. Uh, you do have to be a little bit careful of, of loops and that because there's a, a copper cable now as opposed to the fiber which is, is better because obviously nothing can interfere with that. But anyway, that's it for that. And Tall Paul will return in a video about setting up the subwoofer level control, but I'll leave that for later. That's all for now. Till next time, take it easy.